Welcome back to my channel, Patsy's Proper Paradise. Today we're going to make that liver pate we talked about. We're going to start off with a kilo of grass fed liver from our local butcher. We went in and cut it all apart and picked up the little hard bits. We're going to use a stick of butter, a clove of garlic, and a pound of bacon. And you're going to cook this and reserve the fat for the rest of the recipe. And we're also going to add a couple of herbs. We have fresh thyme and fresh rosemary from the garden. This is what you want your bacon to look like. Swimming in fat and you're going to save all of this. So we're just going to pour this into a dish right now. Start off now by melting a little bit of that butter and adding in the garlic and herbs. Rosemary and thyme, baby. Two of the best herbs on the planet. And don't forget to add the rest of that butter. Mix it well with your garlic and herbs and remove from heat. We do not want to cook that beautiful butter. I'm going to add some of our bacon fat to lightly sear the liver before we put it in the food processor. You want to make sure you don't overcook your liver or it will affect the texture of the taste. I'm only going to add half of this because my pan is... Now I'm only going to add half of my liver to this because I don't want it to cook in its own juices. I want it to cook in the bacon fat. And it's super important you cook this really rare and that there's still blood coming out of it. You're going to cook up the rest of that liver the same way as you cooked up the first half and set it aside. Don't forget to smile because you're about to make the best liver pate ever. My liver is still steaming hot, but we don't want it to cook any more than it has, so we're going to throw the lot in there. We're going to add in the bacon, and we're going to add the best part of all, the garlic butter. Stop and scrape down the sides. You don't want to miss a single bit of butter or bacon fat in there. Oh, it's still steaming hot and it smells so good. All right, time for the taste test. Oh my God, that is delicious. Our suggested serving, add some pretty green things, serve with cheese and crackers, or just use your hands and get right in there. It's that good.